need a hard hat. I'm a beast. Getting up work, need a hard hat. I'm a beast. I'm a beast. Who was Nate Hill? Alleged drug kingpin, Nate Hill, was convicted Monday, May 25th, 1999, by a federal jury for supplying more than three tons of cocaine to two of Chicago's largest street gangs, the Gangster Disciples and Vice Lords, for nearly a decade. Hill was also found guilty for ordering hits on three enemies. Two were killed, but the third survived, despite being shot several times in the head. The seven-woman, five-man jury deliberated over four days before convicting Hill on seven counts of narcotics conspiracy, tax fraud, money laundering, and operating a continuing criminal enterprise. He was acquitted of one count of money laundering, and the jury was unable to reach a verdict on a drug count. Co-defendant Cordell Brake James, a worker in Hill's drug organization who took part in the unsuccessful hit, was also convicted of one count of narcotics conspiracy. Two dozen others had previously been convicted for their roles in Hill's drug organization, which continued operating for six months in 1996 after he was charged and fled the country. After a long search, Hill, who was one of top 15 most wanted fugitives sought by the U.S. Marshal Service, was arrested in early 1998 in the West African nation of Ghana operating a successful coffee business. Both Hill and James face mandatory sentences of life imprisonment when they are sentenced September the 2nd by U.S. District Judge Charles Kokoros, according to prosecutors. While both defendants had court-appointed attorneys, they took large roles in defending themselves, delivering all or part of their closing arguments to jurors last week to make sure jurors realized that they were in custody in the Metropolitan Correctional Center. Each forsook street clothes and wore orange prison jumpsuits throughout the eight-week trial. Hill, who was 32, was born and raised on the south side of Chicago, took the witness stand in his own defense admitting that he sold cocaine out of his garage in the mid to late 1980s. He contended he quit the business in the mid-1990s, which, if it was true, he would have put his drug dealing outside the statute of limitation and the reach of prosecutors. He'll deny that he sold cocaine to gangs, instead describing his clients during his testimony as regular individuals that was just trying to make money and, you know, provide for their families. But prosecutors argued that between 1987 and June 1996, Hill's organization distributed well in excess of 3,000 kilograms of cocaine in the Chicago area. Twice, he was said to use underlings to shoot men who had threatened to kidnap Hill or his family for ransom. Trial evidence showed James Moore was killed in 1992, but James's murder attempt of Philip Thomas in 1994 failed. Hill was also convicted of ordering the slaying in 1994 of Robert Franklin one of his workers who he suspected of stealing $100,000 in drug money. In denying the later hit, he testified, $100,000 is no money really to me nor to Robert. So you see, 
Nate Hill is a Chicago street legend.